Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you. We are on day 13 already. Can you believe that? On the Food Stores Challenge. It's going to be a simple breakfast. Look how easy this is going to be. We're at Wise Foods again, Wise Company. And in this mixture, you have apple cinnamon cereal, crunchy granola, and brown sugar, and maple multigrain. So we're going to get some water going and some eggs and different things like that. And we're going to test this out for you and see how we like it and what you think. Guys, having things like this on hand is just another way for you to be backed up in a quick emergency. When, you know, even if you're in a bad snowstorm like I talked about in a video I filmed yesterday, and you don't have power for a week, and you are, you're boiling your own water, and you've got lots of things to do, you're going to want quick meals. This is one of the ways you can do that. Lots of different options here. So we're going to see how this checks out for us today. We just opened it up. Pretty excited about it. And uh, we'll show you what all this, all this means and what all this talks about. All right, guys. So here we are out here. It looks like we're going to get some rain. So I'm trying to move a little bit fast. So I'm just going to use my little charcoal grill today that I told you I've just made into a little mini stove, if you will. No big deal. Just going to cook right on top of it with wood. No big deal. We'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to have the wise food, emergency food. This is a good time to try that out. Nothing's going on. It's an easy day. I'm going to find out if I like this or not, right? That's going to be good. I'm going to have some eggs, beautiful eggs from my farm. We're going to talk about milk. Guys, you can buy all sorts of different types of milk. Instead of, if you don't have a dairy cow, if you don't have goats, there's options in buying dry milk and putting it in there. Or you can go buy this packaged milk. No, it's highly pasteurized. You know that, right? But it has a long expiration date. This has been bought, or this was bought, at least six months ago, and it goes into well into 2017. Okay? You can throw this into your pantry, set it to the side if you never use it. It's no big deal. You have it, right? Cook with it. Do something with it. Whatever. Some folks were asking about my cinnamon roll bread. This actually is getting really dry. This is the last slice, and I'm going to pick on it. But all I did was roll my bread out I, um, for the kids, and I lathered it um, with uh, some butter and cinnamon sugar and rolled it up and baked it. Man, it's, it's getting hard, though. Look at that. So somebody was asking about how that turned out. That's the last inner slice of it. My kids have totally torn it apart. So I may pick a little bit of the bread here. There's not much to eat at it. And then, hey, I got some critters that will enjoy that if nothing else. So we're going to get all this cooking up and see how she fares and go forth. Some folks were asking about different alternative methods. There's all kinds of different methods, guys. You can use a cowboy grill. You can use wood stoves. You can use what I've got here. There's rocket stoves. We've talked about all these different things for you to whip up a quick meal. Um, the reason I did the cowboy grill the way that I did, which is semi-inspired by a rocket stove, is because, number one, rocket stoves, a lot of times they're very small, depending on how you make them. And I need to be able to cook more than just one thing at a time. I'm feeding five people at a minimum, folks, okay? So you got to think about that. Number two, some folks were talking about, I've seen all kinds of different articles, and, and people were asking about why I chose to make my cowboy grill in this design is because these bricks are safe. Uh, in using with fire. Now, everybody's got, everybody just, like, you know, has has an opinion, which that with a quarter might buy you a cup of coffee at the local Weigel's. So always remember that your opinion is just yours. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, a lot of folks are very leery about using uh, concrete blocks for rocket stoves. Um, you know, if you're in a pinch and you're just doing something real quick as an experiment, I think that's fine and dandy. But if I'm going to take the time to cook on something a lot, I want it to be as safe as possible. If you've never been, um, you know, hurt in a camping or homesteading or farming or agricultural type of setting, you know, cha-ching, okay? If you've never been beyond a little bit of a henpeck in your little coop, you need to do some more research, okay? I, I know somebody's going to get upset with me saying that. You know, if, if you've built something and you, you rocket engineering dudes out there that can't, but, you know, you do your hunting and fishing and loving every day. You do that every day and it works for you. That's great. But I've got three little kids that run around this stuff all the time now, and I'm not taking a chance on them getting hurt. So do your re search okay that's all i'm saying do what works for you i do what works for me and i try to go with what's safe on my farm because you all know that i've already been hurt one time and when you're looking at a five thousand eight hundred dollar bill 
uh, I'm not up for getting hurt again in any sort of fashion and I'm certainly not gonna have my kids get hurt because that's worse than me getting hurt and we ain't burning the house down okay uh, in a crisis situation I highly advise you be a little bit smarter than burning your house down so definitely want to investigate the whole notion about the rocket stove and you know just throwing something together you definitely want to be safe that's all I'm saying do your research and be safe all right I think I felt a raindrop see that's another good thing about this is I can pull it in underneath here where it's covered. I like that, so let's keep cooking. What do you think about the, the fire today, Mr. Peaches? Hmm? You like sitting in your chair? Hmm? Oh my goodness, Mr. Peaches. All right, guys, just showing you how we fare here. I'd say we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't have to add a thing to this but water. That's exactly what the directions on the on the back side say. You're gonna use three and a half cups of water. You add the contents, you boil it, you let it sit, just like making regular oatmeal, yada, 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 boom. All right, guys, we're gonna have a fish fry tonight. That's for dinner. We have got crappie, and I'm going to fry it up. We're gonna put it into the flour and the egg and buttermilk mixture. And then we're going to dip it and roll it in a little bit of breadcrumbs and whatnot. I like mine crispy, so I'm going further than just flour and cornmeal, okay? So we've got this lined up here. This was in our freezer. We had one big bag of it that was uh, gifted to us by a really good local fisherman. And uh, we love, I love catfish. So this is going to be really good. My papa will be really proud to have this tonight. So... Um, nonetheless, we're going to get this going. I've got my own potatoes over here that we're going to fry up on the side. I have no idea what's for dessert or anything else. We're just going with the fish fry right now. So let's hope that turns out pretty good. Um, so I'm hungry. Let's go. All right, guys, the sun is really beating in. So I want to tell you real quick what I put on my potatoes. I like to put on my potatoes a mixture of spices, a little bit of garlic salt, uh, regular salt, pepper, I love BKW seasonings. If you are local here in the Tennessee area, you better pick you up some of that. Good stuff. Use it on a lot of things. And then I add a dash of Italian seasonings. I cook my potatoes, my fried potatoes, in um, olive, uh, yes, olive oil. Because I'm going to tell you what, you're going to go through oil a lot uh, with what I'm doing. I'm just telling you right now. Olive oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, your flour, all of your cooking items, your spices, have those things really backed up because I'm telling you, you burn through them very, very quick. Particularly flour and oil. Promise. Promise, promise. All right, get back to cooking. All right, guys, I'm filming one-handed. So I put it in here. We're going to cook it up. It went through the flour and cornmeal. Then I dipped it in my egg and buttermilk, homemade buttermilk. And then I've got it right there in a little bit of spices and seasonings that are in with my breadcrumbs. I like mine crunchy. We like crunchy around here. All right, we're going to cook this up and see how she fares. Woo-wee! It's hot. All right. Frying it up here, guys, little by little, just to show you. Again, these fires get so, so hot. That's why I stress to you having the appropriate, correct bricks for anything that you create. Cowboy grill, rocket stove, whatever you have as a homemade creation. Do your homework on safety because I'm telling you, it gets hotter than you can ever imagine. Hunting, fishing, loving every day. Oh man, this is gonna be so awesome, y'all. I'm telling you, get your skill sets on. Don't you just wanna sing Luke Bryan? Come on. Okay, so the all of the crappie's ready, fried up, and I'm telling you, a little bite just fell off of one piece, and I said, Lord, I know you want me to try this. I know that's my quality control piece, and I'm letting you all know we're eating like kings tonight. We're waiting on the potatoes, and that is a fish fry waiting to happen right there. All right, guys, this is how we're going to roll. This didn't take any time at all. Have you some fish fillets, whatever you prefer. We have crappie here. It's so delicious. Mm. Then we have um, my homegrown potatoes. We took the smaller ones and cut them in fourths, and I just walked right over and picked that Roma tomato right off the vine probably three minutes ago. There you go, some pepper. We're going for it, folks. It doesn't get any better than this. Again, the reason we're having the fish is because we have some in the freezer. If the freezer were to go out, I'm hitting my freezer 
first. If you don't have a backup plan for your freezer, meaning a generator or whatever you can do, you're going to be eating as fast as you can and putting away as fast as you can from your freezer. So we thought it'd be a great night to have a fish fry. And I'm telling you, that's about to go completely because I've got all my gremlins lined up. You can see it's already disappearing. So Hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. If I add a dessert, it's just going to come on the end of this video. Uh, we've got so much going on that may not happen tonight. This is so satisfying. Who needs a sweet tooth? Because you, you got the fish right here. All right. Check us out on our other forums. And we'll see you on the next episode. And woo, we are about to eat. We'll talk to you soon.